today I want to speak about restoration of that which was stolen. Restoration of that which was stolen. Because it is God himself that has given us a word of restoration. As he spoke in Joel uh, 2.25, part 1, he says, I will restore to you. I will restore to you. That was a very loud word that came from God himself when he was speaking to the children of Israel in the day of prophet Joel. Joel did not just go and preach. He did not just preach. He waited on the Lord and then the Lord told him, go and tell the people that I will restore to you. And the Lord tells us that I will restore to you. And I believe that we are living in this month in a season of restoration. Even as we are preparing for the election, I would prefer to pick on the restoration. And then the Bible says in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10, he says, the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. He says, the thief cometh not, that the only time that the thief can come, that the thief cannot just come, that is another way of saying it, that the thief cannot just come. The thief cannot just come in your house at night, break into your house and then sit down with you. He, he cannot just come to the church and then sit down. The only time a thief can come in anybody's life, the only time he can come into a marriage, into a family, it is only when he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The only way that we will know that a thief came, either by seeing he tried to, or by seeing what he did. We normally see that he had stolen things. We normally see that he had killed things. And the Lord tells the people in that day that the thief cometh only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Then he says, but I come that you may have life and life in abundance. That every time you experience our Lord Jesus Christ in your life, you experience life and life in abundance. Every time Christ comes into your house, Christ comes into your marriage, every time he comes to your children, every time he comes to a city, to a nation, every day we say, ah, today the Lord was with us in the church. He says the only reason that he comes, he comes so that we may have life and life in abundance, an overflowing kind of life. And when I speak about life, I don't speak about us breathing only. I speak about all that includes our living. I speak about provision. I speak about protection. I speak about good health. I speak about peace. I speak about posterity, prosperity, possession, all the things that a man needs to live. Because life is not breathing only. Life includes all other things that will make us comfortable. And Jesus says that I come that you may have life and life in abundance. That every blessing that you have, you relieve those blessings in abundance. If it's marriage, abundance. If it's children, abundance. If it's prosperity, abundance. If it's peace, abundance. If it's provision, abundance. Somebody say amen with me. This is a different kind of restoration. The previous one I said, restorations of our livelihood. And I said, God give us this day our daily bread. That which we need so that we may be able to live. A provision that is necessary for us to live. Education of our children, um, works and all those things. But here it says, I come that you may have life and life in abundance. I come to bring to you a life of overflow. That you overflow in every area of your life. That when people are looking at you, they are looking at the excesses that the Lord had given you. And this is the kind of life that God spoke to when he called Abraham. He said that Abraham, the nations of the world shall be blessed through you. And everyone that will bless Abraham shall be blessed. There shall be an overflowing blessing that anybody who comes into contact with Abraham shall also be able to receive it. And one of the blessings that we speak in the Bible is the blessing of the ability to have that which you have to last until the next generation. The ability to pass the blessing to your children up to your children, children. And it can only happen when we have experienced Christ and when we have experienced him in what? In abundance. 
Somebody clap to the Father and give him praise in the mighty name of Jesus. As I speak about restoration of that which was stolen, the Lord says, I want to restore to people that which was stolen. I want to restore to people that which was stolen. Look at the way the Bible presents this text. Jesus begins by saying, I, The thief cometh not but for to steal and kill and to destroy. I am come that they may have life and life in abundance. He presents to us two personalities with two different uh, activities. Two personalities. And uh, in, the, in, the, in the rule of the game, you cannot present personalities that do not match almost in their activities. If he says, I come, it means the other personality is almost as equal as himself in the activities that he is doing. Since Jesus is a spiritual personality that came here on earth and brought life and life in abundance back to people, he is also speaking about another spiritual personality. He is speaking about a spiritual being. And in this case, he is speaking about Satan. In other words, he would have said that every time Satan appears in a place, every time he appears in a family, he appears in a church, he appears in a city, he appears to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He cannot come to be a companion of people and then does nothing against them. Every time he appears, every time he chooses to escort you or he chooses to sleep with you, every time that he chooses to give you anything, the idea is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Therefore, he, he does not call him by name. He calls him a thief. He calls him a thief. And when you read the Bible, there, there are other times that the devil is given different names from the name the devil. There are times he's called the accuser of brethren. Because in that circumstance, his work is to accuse people. There are times he's called the liar, the deceiver. Because in that occasion, his work is to lie to people, to deceive people. To, to, to bring deception into their lives. He is known by his name. But in this case, he is called the, the, he is called the thief. The thief cometh but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Can somebody say amen with me here? He comes to steal. How can the devil steal uh, in our physical life? How can he steal? I have been walking this journey together with God. And I normally love it when I do it in the spiritual more than the physical. And I came to discover that Satan also has the capacity of stealing. He does not steal in the physical like us. You cannot see him coming with his face and steal something from your pocket. But he steals in the spiritual. He picks things in the spiritual realm. The things that have been stored for the children of God. The things that belong to humanity. He comes and steals them. He takes them away. He steals them. And when he steals them in the spiritual, it manifests in the physical as lack. People lack some basic things that they need to have in life. He, when he steals a family in the spiritual, he steals it in the spiritual realm because everything that we see in the physical has a picture in the spiritual. Everything that you can touch in the physical realm, it has a reality in the spiritual. Therefore, he steals it in the spiritual. He steals a family in the spiritual. And after some time, you discover that that family becomes nothing in the physical. He steals people's resources, finances in the spiritual. And after some time, however much these people will try to work hard, you discover that they are out of resources. They are out of finances. He steals destinies. Destinies of people, the life that God had ordained to be the end point of an individual. When he takes it away in the spiritual, you begin to discover that in the physical, somebody is living for nothing. He is growing into becoming nothing, totally nothing. The life is just wasted like that. And that is the work of the enemy. He said, the thief comes to do what? To steal. And his work is to steal. He can steal people's education. He can steal people's marriages. He can steal nation's peace. He can steal so many things. Everything that can be stolen. The enemy carries the potential and the capacity to steal. And every time he appears anywhere, he's looking for an opportunity either to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Every time he has appeared in your life, 
That is what he has been looking for. He steals the bread of the children, and then the children go angry. He steals the education of the children, and then they fail to perform it in school. He steals resources, finances, businesses, opportunities in life, and then we discover that we have become nothing. He steals fathers from their children. He steals mothers from their children. He steals children from their parents using so many methods, but the end point is he has stolen. Can you clap to the Father and give him praise today in the mighty name of Jesus? And that's why the Lord says, I will restore to you. Somebody say, Amen. Everything that has been stolen, I will restore to you. It is a spiritual activity that happened that brought a manifestation into the physical. Therefore, the only way it can be restored, it can only be done by God himself. And that's why Jesus says, I come that you may have life and you may have it in abundance. But every time Jesus Christ appears, he also comes to counter that which the thief has done. He comes to, to counter. He says, the thief has stolen your marriage. Jesus says, I come to restore that marriage. The thief has stolen your children. I come to restore those children. The thief has stolen your finances. I come to restore those finances. The thief has stolen your destiny. I come to restore that destiny. Because I say, he says, I come so that you may have life and you may have it in abundance. May you experience a restoration in this week, restoration in your life, restoration in your family, restoration of your health, restoration of your, your property, restoration of your dreams, uh, restoration of everything that you've been trusting God to do in your life. Clap to the Father and give him praise today in the mighty name of Jesus. Restoration. Restoration is to bring it back. To bring it back to where it is supposed to to be, to, to, to return it. I am going to return to you everything that has been stolen. He keeps on pinpointing. He pinpoints things and says, this has been stolen. That one has been stolen. Therefore, it is not supposed to remain with the thief. I am supposed to restore them. My prayer for you after our season of prayer and fasting, I pray for a restoration in every area of our lives that was stolen, even in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us clap to the Father and give him praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Those whose health have been stolen, I pray for the restoration of their health in Jesus' mighty name. Those whose dreams have been stolen, I pray for the restoration of their dreams in Jesus' mighty name. Those whose future was stolen, I pray for the restoration of their future in the mighty name of Jesus. Those whose educations have been stolen, I pray for the restoration of their education in Jesus' mighty name. Can you clap to the Father and give him praise in the mighty name of Jesus? Restoration of the ears, restoration of the things that was stolen. Sometimes it's good to look into our lives and say, did God created me for this only? Did not created me for this only? Or there are still many other things that God intended for me, but they are not with me. Did God created me to, 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 to struggle like this? Questions like questions like Anna. Did God created me to be a barren woman, to be a childless mother? Did God created me to be uh, to, to, to lack the ability to speak? That would be the question of a person who was dumb. And the person who was deaf would say, Did God created me to lack the ability to hear? The blind Bartimaeus would ask a question, Did not created me to lack the eyes to see? And then maybe he would answer himself, Everything that God created, according to the book of Genesis, he created and it say, he said it was good. They were all perfect. Therefore, I know that this is not the intention of the Lord. Therefore, if the thief stole my hearing power, if the thief stole my seeing power, if the thief stole my giving birth power, I pray today that Father, restore them, restore them in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody clap to the Father and give him praise in the mighty name of Jesus. You need to ask and tell yourself, did he create me to lack peace? The entire my entire life since from the day I was born up to this age I am struggling to have peace did he create me to lack peace or my peace has been stolen did he allow me to enter into this marriage to lack peace throughout my marriage I have never seen peace chaos after chaos after chaos was it the intention of the Lord or my peace was stolen by the time I was entering into my marriage 
Somebody need to ask the Lord and say, did he created me and allowed me to go to school and after finishing school to stay without a job? Was it his intention? And God himself says in his word that he cannot bring this far and then let us down. That I cannot cause a mother to conceive, give her power to carry pregnancy and then I fail to give her power to do what? To deliver. God is not a failed project manager. Every project that God takes, he must bring it to completion because they have the capacity and power. And everywhere there is a failure in our lives. It is not God that has caused that failure. It is the thief. It is the enemy that has caused that failure. Somebody clap to the Father and give him praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Every time we have started something, but it is not working out well. We are building homes, but the homes are not succeeding well. We are raising up family, but something happens and destroys the family. It is not the working of the Lord. Because God is a master builder. He is a perfecter, a completer of everything that he is doing. Therefore, someone asks himself, what happened to me if God did it? If God stored it, does it mean that something has happened? Oh, maybe the thief has stolen. Because the Lord himself tells me in the book of John 10.10 10, that the thief cometh but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I come that you may have life, and life in abundance. If the Lord is with me, why don't I have life in abundance? If I believe in God, why don't I have life in abundance? It means maybe somebody, something has stolen from my life, from my family. And today I make a prayer, a prayer of restoration that the Lord says, I will restore to you everything that was stolen. And we pray for the restoration of everything that was stolen in our lives and in our families. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody celebrate the Father and give him praise in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, the spiritual realm is really in competition for the control. The enemy tries as much as possible to control by keeping on stealing. He keeps on stealing, stealing destiny, stealing families, stealing marriages, stealing dreams. And some things were even stolen before people were born. You were born, but the life had already been stolen. Education had already been stolen. You walk into a life that has nothing for you. It has already been taken away. Some people even before they are born, their marriage has already been stolen. By the time you are coming from your mother's womb, the marriage is not there. Leave alone by the time you go into the college, you are trying to go into relationships, but nothing happens. The marriage was stolen. There are people whose ability to get children, they were stolen even before they were born. By the time you are born, there is nothing that you are going to live for. There are people whose job, whose livelihood, whose education had been stolen even before they started school. By the time they go into school, they are just seeing does nothing. They are not understanding anything because the education, the brain was stolen. The Bible says, I will restore in Jesus' mighty name. May you receive a restoration today. May you receive a restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody clap to the Father and give him praise? Receive a restoration. Receive a restoration in the name of Jesus. You are studying. You are going to the school. You work so hard. You complete university. But already the, 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 the job has been stolen. Your, your ability to be employed has been stolen. You graduate with flying colors. Everyone is praising you, but there is nothing for you up there. It has already been taken. Can somebody say amen with me? It has already been taken. You stay in your marriage five years, ten years. After some time, you discover that it's not there. It has already been stolen. I pray today, as I pray for restoration, that may somebody receive the restoration of everything that has been stolen in Jesus' mighty name. The destinies of our children that have been stolen. I pray for a restoration today in Jesus' mighty name. The opportunities that have been stolen. I pray for restoration today in Jesus' mighty name. The breakthroughs that have been stolen. I pray for them today to be restored in Jesus' mighty name. Let us celebrate the Father and give him a clap offering in the name of Jesus. You know, there are some people, even if you try to help them, they are not helpable. <laughs> even you take them to school, you take them to college, but they cannot get a job. It was stolen. <laughs> even if you take them uh, 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 until you, you, you bribe on their behalf so that they get the job, that is the time the ESCC uh, 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 attacks that, that organization and, and arrests the person that has been bribed. 
because this person cannot get a what? A job. It was stolen. Even if they are taken and, and, and they are given the job and they are taken to the office that day, that day, th that is the day that the organization decides to catch fire and, 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 and the entire building is burned and the job ends, uh, ends there because the thing had been stolen. When it has been stolen, it has been stolen until it is restored. May the Lord restore to you, even in Jesus' mighty name. Clap to the Father and give him praise in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of... There are people, there are people who cannot get married. However much you do, even if you pair them, even if the aunts bring somebody in the house and they lock you there, it cannot result into marriage. Even if you try to stay together for one year, after one year it cannot work. Because it had been stolen. If it has been stolen, it has been stolen until it is restored. May you receive a restoration. May you receive a restoration today. May you receive a restoration in Jesus' name. Some of our works have been stolen. Some of our works, our destiny. When Yesu has seen fear, it has been stolen. Somebody say, I, I, I woke up, I, I, I had a dream and, and my, my, my shoes had been stolen. And when I, after a week afterward, I lost my job. The, 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 the destiny had been taken away. It is not there. Can somebody say amen with me? Another say, every time I am pregnant, I, I, I dream somebody coming and, 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 and takes the, away the child from my womb. And then the following week, I miscarry. It is being stolen. Someone says, I was about to graduate and then I saw my, 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 my gown being stolen. It's just like that. Another one was telling me, she's struggling with marriage, that I dreamt my gown has been stolen. And my marriage went away like that. May the Lord restore everything that has been stolen. Hey, may the Lord restore everything that has been stolen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit world is an industry. It is a big industry that has real activities that human beings don't want to engage. It is an industry that we must participate in it to inform it, to instruct it, to, to influence it on how things are happening. When Jesus was in fear, God has given us the mechanism. Sometimes we do it through prayers and fasting. Sometimes we do it through giving. Faith, actions, trusting in the Lord. And after doing what we are doing, the Lord says, I am restoring everything that was stolen. May the Lord restore in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord restore in Jesus' mighty name. In the principle of the Bible, every time a thief is caught, he has to repay a hundred folds. He has to restore double in Jesus mighty name and uh, in the restorative justice they don't jail thieves only they normally jail them and they pursue them so that they may recover everything that were stolen and uh, in the spiritual justice when a thief is caught when the devil is caught is not only bound but is always forced to bring back to somebody whatever he had taken away in the month of July, in the month of August, throughout up to December, may you experience a total restoration in your life. May you experience a total restoration in your life. If there is anything that was stolen, may it be restored to you in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord raid every store that the enemy has kept stolen goods and restore back to us in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Everywhere certificates have been hid. Everywhere jobs have been hid. Appointments have been hid. Everywhere opportunities have been hid. May they be raided and be restored back to the owners. In the mighty name of Jesus, can you clap to the Father and give him a better praise? In the name of... I believe that we can influence what is happening in our lives. We have the power to interfere with what the enemy is doing against us. I have a deep conviction... That we are not only having the ability in our flesh to do the things that we are doing, but we also have the ability to invent the supernatural and command it to behave in the manner that we want it to behave in Jesus' mighty name. That's why the Bible says, the kingdom suffereth violence, and those who are violent shall take it by force. That we have to engage progressively, forcefully, until we are able to take that which the Lord ordained for us. In Jesus' mighty name, may you receive a restoration. Hey, may you receive a restoration. I refuse to be a weak Christian that allows the enemy to do whatever he wants to do with my life. When I yesu as if I'm a Christian, I have to believe there is God and there is Satan. 
if I am Christian, I have to believe that the spirit world can manipulate the events of my life, but God has given me the power to go for it and to take it back. I reject to be a nominal Christian, a religious one that says my work is to go to church to listen to a beautiful sermon, then to go home. I believe in the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of power. Somebody say amen. Not many words, but the demonstrations of power. That through this power, we are able to experience a restoration in Jesus' mighty name. Can you clap to the Father and give him praise today in the name of Jesus? Everything that the devil has stolen from you, today we take it back in Jesus' mighty name. Hey, somebody say amen. May every thief of your life be arrested today in Jesus' name. And we bind him in Jesus' mighty name. So that he may return everything that he had taken away in Jesus' mighty name. Can you say amen? Are we together, people of God? Let's, let's keep on trusting him for this season of restoration. I had an argument with somebody who say, why are you being over spiritual and why are you doing this thing? And I told him, even if I'm not over spiritual and I uh, even if I'm not of a spiritual, I will not change anything. You are being, you are being an over spiritual. It's not helping you. It's not helping me. <clears throat> Maybe if I try to become over spiritual, it can help me. And after some time, it will help you. Be an over spiritual Christian in Jesus' name. over spiritual. Ask the Lord and tell the Lord, Father, in my house, many things are not there. And yet, I know you created them. Today, command the thief to return everything that he had stolen in the name of Jesus. Tell God, my children are struggling in school. I don't know why. I don't know why. When they study, they are doing good. When, 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 when they do exams, they do good. But when it comes to the final exam, something happens and they fail. Father, restore them in Jesus' mighty name. Tell the Lord, I keep on working hard, but I don't have resources. Who is eating my resources? Who is stealing from me? Who is stealing my labor? Father, I pray for a restoration today in the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody say amen? Hey, say a better amen. He say, I will restore to you. May you receive that restoration. May you receive that restoration. Everything that was stolen, may it be restored in Jesus' mighty name. Every one of your life that has been stolen, may it be restored, may they be restored in Jesus' mighty name. Hey, somebody say amen. I found some two people fighting and one told me he has stolen my boyfriend. <laughs> when was in Fiwe, may that boyfriend be restored in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> my boyfriend when I be one was squeezed. To begin when Ezra Makofi. Ama mejipeleka. Hey. Anybody in your life that has been stolen may be restored in Jesus' mighty name. I think kwani nam salam yana yangu squeezy ah huyu ali 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 ni bia boyfriend wangu may that boyfriend be restored so that you may make peace with one another in Jesus mighty name to say me amen bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord jesus may the lord destroy every 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 spirit that has been stealing from us we bind the thief today we bind him in Jesus name we bind the spirit of a thief the one that has been stealing your health. We bind him today in Jesus' mighty name. The one that has been stealing your health. We bind him today in the name of Jesus. The one that has been stealing the ability of your body system. We also bind him in Jesus' name. May he restore whatever you have stolen in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Those that, that one that steal people's hearts. May he release it back in Jesus' mighty name. May the hearts be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. So that the people will rejoice in the Lord. The Bible says, will you not revive us, Lord? Will you not revive us? So that the bones that you have crushed may rejoice in you. Father, restore your people so that they may rejoice in you, even in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for a restoration. I see a lot of release. Release over people's lives. I see a lot of release of blessings, release of opportunities. The heavens has really changed and shifted to favor us in the mighty name of Jesus. I see, I see a lot of opportunities rising up, uh, breakthroughs, open doors, testimonies of healing happening amongst the people, even in Jesus' mighty name. 
I pray that you'll be among the number that will have something to say that the Lord has done it for me in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, a lot of release, a lot of release. We, we bound the strong man, and that is the conviction that God has put in my spirit, and it's our time to take the plunder, to take that which he had stolen. It's our time to take the goods that he had robbed us. Actually, the enemy is called a robber. It's our time to take the goods that he had robbed from us, because we have bound him in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen.